Hey guys, welcome back to No Man's Sky. I wanted to share with you the most exotic spacecraft you've ever seen in your life. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how this happened, but one of my exotics has merged with my beautiful hauler. And it looks like this. Guys, today's video is going to be featuring something that a lot of people have been waiting for. Me showing you where I found this specific starship. This beautiful orange hauler. I'm going to show you exactly where to get it. As well as a ton of other really really epic exotic spacecraft i'm going to show you a bunch of different chords and locations and hopefully show you every single one of them where what they look like and where you can get it just so you guys know like oh my gosh i like the look of that exotic and i'll tell you this much all the exotics that i'm going to show you in today's video make me jealous because mine kind of suck in comparison to them and uh essentially they are very unique and really cool looking and I really hope that you guys find this video helpful. Now, keep in mind that uh, I'm also going to be showing in this video No Man's Connect and how to use that. It's going to be sh pretty short and brief because it doesn't really require that much explanation. Just kind of, you just need to know where to look. And I'm, so I'm going to tell you about that as well. Once again, I'm going to show you where to get this hauler as well as some exotics. Guys, keep in mind, we also have a Discord server. If you guys don't know about that, check in the description below. Go join the Discord server. Uh, lots of people on there constantly sharing tips and advice and help and stuff like that and showing different locations and things. Cool multi tools yada yada you know we are really helpful community and uh the people in there are freaking great the no man's sky community is amazing and i really appreciate everything you guys have been doing lately you guys are awesome let's go ahead let's get in the video and let's talk about some things and then we'll get to the exotics all right so using no man's connect is extremely easy when you first come into it though it's going to look really overwhelming and you're like there's a ton of stuff in here what do i even do well you can see all kinds of different things but what we're most concerned about doing is how to import coordinates and and then teleport to those coordinates right that's it so once you have coordinates if you're on pc you can do this really easily uh there's also things like save restore bases save editor things like that but what we're most interested in is right here next to your name in the top right hand corner there's this little thing called manually register locations right so we're going to just click that and it's going to say galactic address and we're going to paste in our coordinates that we want to go to now this is for a really nice exotic we're going to be looking at later in the video and then once that's in here uh what i recommend doing is coming over here to the top left hand corner next to store locations and make sure that show universe addresses is not like checked so that way the chords will look like this instead of like this you see how it's so different looking and you have to go through and click and stuff but we want like this so what we're looking for is uh, basically what you want to do is just find the course that you just import. So here are the course that I just put in and you can come over here and you can click on this little icon. Sometimes it'll show up here depending on how the layout is for some people. And if it's over here, just, you know, whatever, go over here. But mine shows up down here in the left hand corner and I just click. All you need to do is click the little button, the little three uh, dots there and then click teleport to initial location okay so in your game you want to make sure that you're in your ship and you want to hit escape to go to your menu and then bring up no man sky no man connect input your cords you manually register your location come down here click initial teleport to initial location go back to your game bring no man sky back up and then click a reload autosave and then the next thing you know you will be in that location those specific cores so that's all there is to it it's super simple like i said it might look a little different for you there's a lot of different things you can do with no man's connect but what we're interested in doing is teleporting to specific coordinates that's how you do it it's as simple as that and uh yeah good luck all right so we currently are in a system that has a really really sweet white gold exotic ship with a huge massive fin and i have i don't think i've really seen one that looks like this i haven't seen a white one that's for sure and so we're gonna go down here to the trading post we're gonna check it out and see if we can find this now if for the, i'm just going to let you know what for the first little bit here you know what we'll do let's just kind of act like you the per, the people who are watching this have never seen how to do this okay so now you know how to do no man's connect and you know how to teleport to a new system but let's say that you have no idea how to hunt an exotic ship well first and foremost you need to be in a wealthy system okay so if you're in a wealthy system which i don't even know what this system is um, this system is a high supply system so if you hit up if you have an economy filter on your 
ship you can browse by economy and you want to find a very wealthy economy okay so that's the first thing the second thing is to go to that specific economy and then the third thing to do is to go to a trading post go to a trading station and just sit there and wait now the the trick is though is that you don't actually have to wait what you can do is you can get the game to you can trick the game into making ships appear a lot quicker than they would if you just sat there and wait because if you sit there and wait what's going to happen is a ship's going to appear all the ships are first going to appear and then you're going to sit there and wait and it's going to take a while for one to leave and another one to come down and there's always at least two trading platforms that are available and so then there'll be ships that are in like kind of circling around the trading post i always say in orbit people get mad at me for when i say that i don't know why but they're stuck circling the trading platform but you can you can get them to come down quicker and the way to do it is so every system has an, a, a certain amount of ships okay and you can get those ships to cycle quicker by essentially creating a manual save point and so bring out like something like a beacon or a save point save your game and then if the ship does not come right away like if you don't see the ship come in and land here or whatever right if you don't see it come in right away and you give it about 15 20 seconds if it doesn't show up you can go ahead and reload your manual save and you can get it to come a lot you can get new ones to come again really what the crap it's a gigantic pineapple <laughs> what okay so you can see that you know there's there's nothing there's not the, the exotic's not here right you you're able to hear it you can actually check all the ships too by holding f and like that's a that's a shuttle and that's hot shuttle that's kind of weird and you can see what's here and, and and you know every single system that's wealthy you can also have a, a high chance of having something good um wow that looks kind of cool right there what in the world that's a that has the wings in the back that's a cool look so generally every ship will have an s version if you wait long enough so you can pretty much pick up whatever you want here um if you you know as well and so just you know kind of scan and look and make sure to before you do your manual reload that you check the sky and you look for the exotic or whatever you're looking for because it might this kind of a monster of a, of a ship um yeah it might be stuck up there so just check and make sure that it's not up there okay so it didn't come so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna do a manual reload of our save of our manual save and then we're going to force the ships to come down again but you can do this a lot quicker right so if you if it doesn't come within the first like 20 seconds just go ahead and do another manual reload if you don't see it in the sky right and then just keep doing that until the exotic comes it might take you an extremely long time but it will come just be patient it will come it'll be there okay you just you just have to wait okay oh and i realized i didn't get the pineapple because i didn't do the save so now that it's coming down again, we're going to see if the exotic's coming in. Let me just go ahead and save this so I get the pineapple discovered, the gigantic pineapple thing. And we're just going to look, you know, we're, you can't scan them when they're on approach, but you're just going to look and you're going to see, you know, what's what's up there. Do you see an exotic? No, I don't see an exotic. So we're just going to go ahead and reload the manual save also in this video i'm going to show every single location using the signal booster i'm not going to throw up any text on the screen so that way i get it right because last time i messed something up and i don't want to do that so here's the chords for this specific system and what we're looking for i should also say i think one of the biggest issues with this video is going to be that it's going to require me to literally hang out and sit and wait for a very very long time so i think I'm going to try my hardest. I'm going to try my best to sit and wait for you guys. I, there's no way. I don't have the time to do this. And so what I might wind up doing is just showing you the coordinates and then throwing up the original picture that I found that led me to look in these locations and get these different um, coordinates for you guys and check them out. So more than likely, we're just going to be put, going to a system, putting down coordinates. And if I don't find it fairly quickly, I'm just going to throw up an image and you guys can see exactly which which exotic we're looking for so with that being said this system has this really nice white and gold exotic with this big fin and i can't get the thing to spawn and so i'm gonna go ahead and just show you what it looks like and then i'm gonna call it for this system and we're gonna teleport to a new one all right now for the moment you've all been waiting for my hauler all right so i'm gonna show you where this nice orange beautiful hauler is it's got like the best wings that i've ever seen on a hauler and uh, I'm going to show you exactly where to get it. And hopefully it will show up pretty quickly. So that way you guys can 
you know, we can, we don't have to sit here and wait forever, but more than likely it'll show up. And, and if not, a uh, different version of it will. So um, let's go ahead and throw down a signal booster. So this, these are the cords right here. It's called like the Uacoma system or something like that. 0C6E007D03A500CC. Uh, if you have not seen, this is my hauler right here. It is a beautiful, beautiful hauler. And I love this thing. And I found, I found one that uh, looks even better. And I'm super excited for it. That's not it right there. So it did not show up right away. So let's go ahead and let's throw it on a beacon and we'll get this manual save going and hopefully we can get this thing to show up pretty quickly well i uh i wasn't expecting this i'll say this much <laughs> i wasn't expecting all of them to appear at one time what the crap dude three showed up in one platform at once so uh yeah this is the exact place to get them look at these beauties look at these beauties look at them uh, so yeah, uh, you're gonna see, you know, it's can you're gonna you can see all kinds of different things. Uh, just wait though, guys. Wait for the S488. No matter how many times you have to reload, wait for it. It will show up. It might take you a long time, but it will show up, and you're gonna regret not waiting for it if you don't. So the S488, it does exist here. Definitely, this system actually has other cool haulers too, like this one right here. Oh, it's an S396. Let's go check this out. It has two different types of, uh, three different types of haulers that look pretty cool. So this is kind of a cool one too. If you guys want to, it's a nice little blue one. S39.6. You guys can obviously wait for the S488 because it's probably, I, I, I think that there's always a variant of the S488. Like almost always. Um, so here are the stats on this thing. This is not, is this the same stats as mine? It's a blue one, all blue. An all blue one if you're interested in that. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, if you come to the system, you can find all kinds of different things. Just like these big boxy ones, too. Uh, I don't know. Really cool. All right. Uh, on to the next thing. So we just landed in Affluent Viking system. And there is a really sweet orange exotic here. But look at this thing. That is one sweet looking freaking hauler. Oh, my gosh. I love this scheme of this thing. So there's most likely an S version of this thing here. So... Uh, really cool if you're looking for a nice looking hauler. I have a really awesome white one that I'm going to show you guys in the next video that I do that's like this. And uh, it, it's it's better than my orange one, I think. I, I'm, I'm, very I'm very much considering trading in this one for, uh, for this white one because it's so OP. So I'm going to go down to here and we're going to see if we can find this thing. All right, so here is the uh, coordinates for this specific system. A lot of zeros and a lot of eights in this one. Uh, so if you're interested in coming here and picking up this exotic, this is where it's going to be. All right, so I can't find the thing. Oh, gosh, this is uh, quite the tedious process. So uh, there's some really cool looking ships here in this system, like really cool looking fight fighters and stuff. So um, I am going to go ahead and just call it. Here's the image of the ship so you guys can see what it looks like if you're interested in coming here it has a very unique decal on the like on the tip of it one that i've i've never seen one that looks like this and i've never seen an orange one which like i said a lot of these ones are pretty jealous of because they're a lot better than the ones that i have uh so yeah let's go ahead let's move to the next system and you guys can see the next one hopefully holy crap before we do look at this thing this is an awesome looking hauler i love the wing design on this thing this system has some insanely awesome ships. Oh, I kind of want to wait around for an S version of this bad boy right here. Wow, that's uh, this system is awesome. All right, so we just uh, ex landed in a new system, and here are the cores for this thing. If you guys want to come here and get this, this has a pretty cool little exotic. Um, oh, we're an extreme planet. Oh, man. Okay, that's not good. Yeah, so there are the cores. Uh, let's see if we can get this thing to spawn. Some pretty cool looking colors here so far. That gives me a lot of hope. What do we got flying around up here? We're kind of like up in the sky. It's kind of, it's kind of cool. All right. Once again, we've been here for a while, but dude, look at this fighter. This is a really nice looking fighter. Man, and this is a cool thing about visiting all these high well systems is that not only are we going to find some exotics, but we're also going to find some really cool, it's like an all white and gray one. 
with a little bit of gold. Not bad, man. That's that's a pretty nice fighter. So at least I'm like showing, at least I'm able to show you guys some cool ships. If I can't find the exotics, which really stinks because it's taken forever to find these things, and I've, I mean, I've done so many reloads, and it's like, how, how many more can I do, you know? And what in the crap? We need to get off this planet as quick as we can. Look at this big thing. Uh, I should also say, guys, if you're really looking for some exotics, there is a really, really, really simple way to go about doing this. If you are on PC, just go on Nexus Mods and get the more exotics mod pack. And you can get, like, the cool thing with this mod pack is, is that... It just doesn't like increase the numbers where you find them all the time. You can actually choose how often you want them to come. So if you're like, I don't want them to be showing up all the time, you can do like a half probability. So it like increases it by half. Um, it, there's like a full, there's like an extreme, there's like the majority of them are exotics. You can like really configure it. But if you're looking for more exotics, like get the mod pack called more exotics. I mean, it'll, it'll really help you if you're, if that's kind of what you're looking for. Um, that that's gonna be like the literal easiest way to get some uh, exotics to show up. All right, we just landed on a new. It's a moon actually in a new system, and this place is actually a really nice location. Choking humidity, uh, but uh, there it is the name. But it's a really cool looking area. Here's the uh, the coordinates for this thing, and this system has this nice cute little yellow exotic hey wait here it is whoa nice there we go it's right here guys this is the one dang that is nice that it showed up right away right when i sat down so if you're looking if you want a cool little yellow exotic here you go this thing's actually really cool looking i like this thing a lot i shouldn't have brought my hauler i should have brought something else so i can uh you know swap one of them out. I have a fighter I would like to swap out. So there you go. If you want to pick up this nice little yellow exotic, this is where you can come to get it. Look at this thing. It's like yellow or green or something. So yeah, come to this location. Like I said, this moon's really nice actually. Looks like a looks like a planet that could you could call home if you were interested in it. What do we got here? What's flying around here? Just got to check everything, you know? Just see what's all here and s see what you could potentially get because sometimes you can get some really nice s-class stuff if you just wait around long enough you can always uh you never know what you're gonna find you never know what you're gonna find that's that's nice right there that's a nice little ship let me tell you so that's an s19 okay oh s19 a cool little that's an interesting looking hauler I love these I love these systems man you get some really cool stuff here so all right on to the next system all right we just made it to a new system oh man I have this is the first one of these I've seen this like an asymmetrical looking thing uh, I, see, I see people post about these all the time the mirror of air look at that thing it's all white too that's cool looking so you like these types of weird ships you can come and get these look at this thing so strange dude it's such a strange looking thing uh yeah so we're in a new system and this area has this nice blue gray exotic it's here the course if you guys want to come to this location to pick this up i'll probably just throw up the picture right away because uh that yellow one is the first one that i have got lucky with all night long and so uh it doesn't seem to be something that's happening too often for me unfortunately and we just kind of have to deal with what we get. And yeah, it looks like we're looks like I have to do some some more some more reloading. It's getting annoying. All right, sweet. So we've got this nice big uh, A478 hauler. This thing is cool looking. Look at this, like white and red. And then look at this weird section right here. That's crazy. Uh, yeah. So usually in a system where there's one of these, there's almost always an S version of this. And so uh, this is kind of a cool place if you guys want to come pick this up you can definitely there there's just some really cool looking ships in all of these systems man is that another one there's another one right no that's not that's not one yeah anyway uh all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm leaving this system because i've been waiting here for a while now and so once again we're gonna be moving out uh like i said you can come get it come here if you would like to no that is another one some really cool looking stuff 
I'm, I'm like really impressed by the variety that I'm seeing today. All right, let's go to the next system. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I will be bringing you other videos like this. Guys are constantly sc scouring the, the interwebs for these nice uh, links to these different exotic and S class ships and stuff. And I want to just hook you guys up with information on those and where to find them and stuff. And so you guys can definitely be guaranteed that I'm going to be showing you all kinds of different stuff. Here's, I guess I should probably show you where the system is if you guys are interested in, you know, kind of knowing. It's the Uacoma system. Um, I don't know. I don't know how this helps, but, you know, it's there's all kinds of different places you can go to. It's a nice booming Gex system, which Gex is going to be where you're going to find most of your haulers anyway. So, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Stay positive. Be blessed. Catch you guys next time.